So we've filled the indentation with wax, we've let it go off, and now we are just taking away the surplus wax in a careful way so as not to scratch the door. Coming away, then we're going to probably melt some more in here. Take a bit of a slightly different colour to give it a bit of tone. And we're using just a household soldering iron. No. We're also look so as not to scratch the door, taking plastic to it to take the surplus wax off. And just trying to Let me just apply a little bit of heat to help it melt and move it around a bit. Okay, the, these are all various colours of waxes for finishing and filling in wood so as you can hide any marks and any various imperfections. Obviously not perfectly, but to an extent it then allows you to play with mixing waxes as well into various different colours and various different tones. So we're just letting that settle a bit also start to dry. Yes, there's quite a bit on there so it needs to dry for a second longer. Keep a clean work area. Now I'm going to just lightly go over it with a wire wool, a double zero, double zero. Just to again try and blend it in around the edges a bit more. So we're getting the effect of, if you like, a feature in the wood, because obviously the wax itself will never entirely replicate the wood. to feel because you can feel it through the wire wool on your fingers and what's happening. Let's check it. Just getting that finish on it, just making sure that it's blending more and more as it goes. And whilst never perfect, although you could make it perfect by the use of fine paint, acrylic paint, just to draw in some grain lines there or like a knot in the wood and therefore the knot looks part of the natural wood and part of the feature of the door but is now filled in uh, what was a nasty and unattractive dent and splinter. Thank you.